Hafede and welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Issa Baza. Glad you could join us. The island's law enforcement officers and first responders encounter a multitude of different people every day. This includes those with learning disabilities and individuals with autism spectrum disorders. Valerie Maige reports. While there are special protocols in place for how respective agencies respond to crisis, they may not always be the best responses to interact with individuals with disabilities. Enter the Judicial Education Center, who hopes to ensure they teach first responders how to recognize the signs and prevent unfortunate situations. There's a lot of concerns that parents and kids with disabilities have, but one of them is what happens if they get stopped by the police? How do they react and how do the police react? Dr. Richard Fee from the JEC is seeking to get approval from the Post Commission to adopt a special curriculum for a three-day professional development course. A simple thing, New York Times, big spread, the kid is stimming, he's telling, but the officer who is trained in, quote, mental health thinks the kid's about to attack him. Also from the JEC presenting at this week's post meeting, Nikki Cruz, who also has a background in special education. You know, a lot of the things that we were noticing were a lot of the parents of children with disabilities, and even as they were becoming high schoolers and adults with disabilities, they were having all of these concerns. And even in high schools, as you know, they, the, maybe the staff doesn't know how to respond appropriately to the students, so they immediately call the police. And the police come down and they don't know how to respond to the students because they're thinking these are the educators trained in special education, we should be able to assist individuals. Cruz says she conducted a study with the University of Hawaii's Leadership Education in Neurodevelopmental and Related Disabilities program. Following her research, they also conducted focus groups with local law enforcement officers, who several years ago say, while they are familiar with general orders that dealt with similar issues, there wasn't any real training, and only several minutes before each shift began to go over the protocols. That if we go over everything with you, if we give you all the tools, then you're in a much better position. And these law enforcement officers, when they go out, we have videos that say, okay, well, if there's an individual, for example, with autism, they may get overstimulated and start doing repetitive movements movements so that somebody who's not trained or who hasn't even been exposed to it, they may think, okay, this person might be on drugs, they may just be combative with me. If we don't know better, we would just think that they're not responding to us. But sometimes they cannot look at you, they cannot respond. They, we would love for them to, but it, they just physically cannot respond in the way that we are used to. Post Chair and Guam Police Chief J.I. Cruz says he's giving each agency an opportunity to review the curriculum adopted from the University of South Florida before they take a vote at the next meeting. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maige. Thanks, Valerie. Well, shifting to education, whether it's programming robots, satellites, or other remote vehicles that might seem out of this world, the Guam Department of Education is taking steps to prepare teachers and, in turn, students to succeed in technological fields that are growing and some that may not even be in existence yet. Here's more. Computer-controlled robots might have seemed like a thing of the future when we were in school, but today it's part of the norm. In fact, for the past four years, the Guam Department of Education has been piloting a STEM engineering program that teaches students to use computer-operated robots to perform tasks needed in today's workforce. First Lego League trainer Brenton Burnett. Uh, STEM uh, careers are, are a big concern and interest to, to individuals and society at large. And uh, amongst that, um, computing skills, programming skills, are at the top of the list and so um, robotics offers a platform where kids can get an immediate feedback and, and it generates some excitement and interest and also uh, it offers a perfect platform for solving a variety of physical and computational problems. The program also encourages students to use critical thinking, collaboration and creativity to solve real world problems. Burnett conducted a two-day Lego robotics training with middle and high school teachers earlier this week. The pilot program is geared toward 9 to 14 year olds and aims to eventually introduce them to the first Lego League annual competition. FBLG robotics teacher Eileen Conos and Dr. Leah Beth Nahalawa. As they slowly start learning what the program is and, and how to use components of building the robot and um, actually testing it out, then they realize, oh my gosh, this is something that I can do and it's something that's easy for them. And so it gets a lot of motivation for them and a lot of interest for them in understanding STEM. We're kind of incorporating different um, learning strategies so that you know our teachers 
are able to, you know, bring this into their classroom. And for those who have brought robotics into the classrooms, students are doing well, including those who represented Guam at a competition at Legoland earlier this year. Out of the 80 plus uh, competitors, we placed 18. So um, our teachers are really excited. And if we make our teachers excited, that makes our students excited as well. Kano said she hopes more teachers will get involved and the program will continue growing in Guam schools. Well, the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation has suspended acceptance of take care insurance. The CHC says they will continue to provide treatments to take care members. However, customers will be responsible for payment in full and upfront. As we reported, CHC announced they will no longer accept take care insurance. The letter dated September 19th issued a first notice for payment on June 26th of this year, giving the insurance company a deadline of September 15th to make payment. The letter says despite all of the CHC's efforts as of September 19th, they still had an outstanding balance of almost $1.3 million. CHC officials urge take care members to contact their insurance provider directly regarding coverage. A violent incident outside a Tamuning apartment resulted in a 29-year-old man being arrested. John Palacios White is charged with burglary to a motor vehicle, breaking of window glass to gain access to a vehicle, criminal mischief to a motor vehicle, and theft of property. It happened Tuesday night at the Eliza Apartments in Tamuning. Court documents state two female victims were inside a parked car when a man known to them drove up demanding that they get out. The suspect then repeatedly punched and dented the hood of the car and even punched and shattered the driver's side mirror and the front passenger side window. Documents state the man also reached in and grabbed the car keys and a cell phone before taking off. Police tracked him down about an hour later and made the arrest. Education and prevention, those are the goals of a suicide awareness fair at Simon Sanchez High School this week. Health instructor Manuel Palacios said the fair coincides with Suicide Prevention Month and features student displays. We usually do it later in the year, you know, uh, with the health fair, which has a little snippet of it, but this one is focusing strictly on suicide awareness. And we do it at the beginning of the year to prevent, you know, uh, losses in the community, especially within Simon Sanchez. The displays help students learn about suicide warning signs as well as tips for helping friends in crisis. Hundreds of students attended the event, which also included tables from community organizations such as Sanctuary and the Peace Office. It was organized by the school's counseling and health departments. A program that teaches kids about the sustainable use and development of Guam's all-important freshwater resources gets a $20,000 boost from Triple J Motors. The Guam Water Kids is managed by the university's Water and Environmental Research Institute, where a director, Dr. John Jensen, says the donation will help expand outreach efforts. The program from Triple J has really leveraged our ability to get out to the uh, local community, particularly to this educational system, the teachers and the school kids. In terms of you know, getting the, the amount of uh, return on the investment for the, the educational value, I think this is probably the, one of the best programs we've, we've launched yet. The money for this year's program will go toward continuing education and field trips. They will also recruit high school students for graduation projects that explore the importance of sustaining freshwater resources. Thanks to the support of customers in the Marianas, Docomo Pacific presented a more than $2,000 check to the American Red Cross to help with disaster relief efforts for those in Texas and Louisiana affected by Hurricane Harvey. At the beginning of the month, customers in Guam and the CNMI were able to donate through the company's Text to Help fundraising initiative. 100% of the contributions will go to helping out those affected by the hurricane. Speaker B.J. Cruz was awarded with a 2017 John M. Phillips Excellence in Government Accountability Award by the Association of Government Accountants, Guam Chapter, earlier this week. The award was in recognition of his over 40 years of achievements in making government more accountable through his positions in the legislative, judicial and executive branches. Past President Vince Duenas. The cumulative achievements of a government professional who throughout his or her career has served as a role model for others 
and that has consistently exhibited the highest personal and professional standards. The award is named after Professor John Phillips, also dubbed the Godfather of Accounting in Guam, who is a charter member of the organization, former UOG professor of 22 years, certified government financial manager and certified public accountant, who served as a role model for many people in the accounting and accountability professions. Three wedding companies have been put on notice to voluntarily cease operations of its laundry services. Our earliest wedding corporation was Hobby Guam Inc. and was Hobby Guam Inc. The second have been instructed to stop those specific services. The Department of Public Health officials released its latest sanitary inspection report, noting that the companies first get a valid sanitary permit before they can start it back up again. We should note these same companies each received an A grade for their barber and beauty shops, and it was just their laundry operation that is being affected. Stay tuned, next on Weekend Edition, we'll rehash some of the big stories of the past week and still to come, the Guam Crime Stoppers report. There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Have you gotten paid yet? That's the premium automatic insurance deduction plan from Calvo's Insurance. Paid simplifies your home and auto insurance. No down payment. No more long lines. And you can stretch your payments up to 12 months. Paid is convenient. It deducts from your payroll, your checking account, or your credit card. With Paid, you get up to 65% off your car insurance and enjoy lifestyle club discounts. Life can be easier when you get paid. Call Calvo's Insurance today and save on your home and auto insurance. at IT&E and get double data on the network that gives you more. If you get nervous about having dental treatment, you're not alone. An estimated 35 million adults experience anxiety or nervousness at the simple thought of visiting the dentist. As your dentist, I strive to make your visit as painless or pain-free as possible. And I frequently tell my patients that in the 21st century, if we can give you medicines to put your tooth asleep or medicines to take an infection or toothache away, we can surely give you something to help relax you and take all fear away. No one ought to sit in a dental chair thinking of bad childhood memories or fearing injections. If you're a dental coward, but you really do want your teeth fixed, don't wait until the pain is killing you. Come in, tell us your fears, and set up an appointment. We have convinced many that dental treatment doesn't need to be scary anymore. For your helpful dental minute, I'm Dr. Kenny Bourgeois of Paradise Smiles. You shall never know all the good a simple smile can do. Today and welcome to Rehash, where we recap some of the big stories of the week. And this has kind of been a recurring story, Nick. Right. More contraband at the prison. Yeah, I can't even get a handle of the count that uh, of announcements that the Department of Corrections has made this week. Just uh, this week alone, I think more than a handful of cases where they found contraband or an attempt to, to toss contraband into the compound again. And this all comes days uh, after they started implementing some of the, the new things to curb the contraband from getting inside. Uh, earlier in the week, we brought you the story of how the vendors and the contractors coming onto uh, the prison uh, facility will have to get inspected only between 9 and 11 and 2 and 4. So they're restricting the time frames and doing those extra checks to make sure that they can do what they can to curb that. And Chris, I know you were in a murder trial all week long. Oh, yes. The end of a three-week trial, finally. Uh, it actually took all day Friday for closing arguments. and. 
plot twist. Again, I'm talking about Alan Agababa, the man accused of killing his mother, to collect up to $400,000 in her death benefits. She was a flight attendant for United Airlines, and again, she was found dead in her apartment four years ago. And so there's conf uh, conflicting opinions as to how she died. We have Guam's chief medical examiner saying she died from blunt force trauma to the head. We have a California forensic pathologist saying, no, it was drug intoxication. Then they were citing these fentanyl patches. And fentanyl is a prescription painkiller that's more potent than morphine. And so we also had a plot twist, like I was saying, where the defense at the last minute proposed a new theory to jurors, and that's that prosecution's witnesses are actually in on it and that they, in fact, burglarized the Tumening home and somehow uh, Shelley Bernstein was found dead. And so defense has alleged that Randall Fulcher, who was a known convict, uh, and uh, one of the neighbors, Mr. Plew, are actually the ones responsible for the burglary and maybe even perhaps Shelley Bernstein's death. So jurors will head into deliberations following jury instructions on Monday. And who knows what will happen because the first trial, again, rendered a mistrial because jurors just couldn't find a unanimous decision. Well, I'm curious to hear what the verdict is going to be in that case. And Nestor, I know you, you covered La Texan. Yeah, uh, the live fire training range at North West Field, which is above the location of La Texan. Um, the state, state Historic Preservation Officer came out uh, this week and sent a letter to a uh, Federal Advisory Council asking for a pause in the construction of the uh, firing range complex. Uh, this was supported by the Governor's Office. The Governor's uh, Advisor for the Military Buildup, Robert Chrysostomo, came out and indicated the uh, ad loop support for it. Uh, but also, uh, contrary to that, um, the uh, Admiral made her first public comments at a Rotary Club meeting as defending the need for uh, the live fire training range and how important that is to the military, uh, the Marine relocation here, and also that, um, you know, that uh, they, the Navy has been taking all measures possible to ensure the cultural and environmental um, concerns that were raised are being handled. So it's, it's a continuing situation, and I'm sure there's going to be much more to report in the days and months ahead. Well, another big story I worked on this week was a lawsuit filed against Gov Guam and the Tomorrow Land Trust Commission by the U United States Department of Justice. And so we'll have more on that story. That was just filed on Friday, and it alleges um, racial and national origin discrimination because the, the Land Trust Commission offers land leases and other services to s strictly native Tomorrow inhabitants. So we'll have more on that story. And of course, if you have any news tips for us, just email us at reporters at KUAM.com. It's Hyundai's kickoff to savings event going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Score big, save big with the all-new redesigned Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. Gain those extra yards with up to 45 miles per gallon highway and an introductory savings of $4,500. Or check out Guam's best offensive line, like a new Accent starting at $11,995. Or the new Elantra starting at $16,995. How about the new Tucson starting at $19,995? Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's best warranty. It's Hyundai's kickoff to savings event at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. For 20 years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives. Bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat, and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adaki Itano program, to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, you just must eat Matson. Been waiting for the best deals on a new car? Now is the time to buy during Triple J Auto Group's anniversary celebration going on in September. Get unbelievable deals on our full 2017 inventory of Hondas, Mazdas, Acuras, Fords, Kias, Lincolns, and Volvos. Zero down 1.9% financing plus a $500 Kmart gift certificate. Check out deals like the Kia Sportage as low as $161 per paycheck or the Mazda 6 or Honda Civic both at only $169 per paycheck. Get pre approved instantly at TripleJGuam.com. Trade ins welcome, some conditions apply. Triple J, 33 years of putting customers first. The Cheers Guam Series presents the largest wine event of the year, Wine Fest 2017. Enjoy an evening with over 150 wines from around the world on Friday, October 6th, as the Hyatt Regency Ballroom transforms into an international wine extravaganza. Doors open at 6.30 p.m., general admission tickets are $66 and are available at the Hyatt Deli and all 76 Circle K locations. Super premium tickets are $180 and are available at the Hyatt Deli. Purchase your tickets today. Must be 21 
21 years or older to attend. Savor the wines of the world at WineFest 2017. The very, very popular Coffee with a Cop program helps our community stay safer by combining community feedback with the Guam Police Department centered at McDonald's. So what better way than to invite at least two of those components into our studio? We have Officer Paul Tapao with the Guam Police Department and from McDonald's. Hi, Jason. Evaristo. Hi, half a day. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having Coffee, coffee? with a Cop. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, thank you, thank you for um, hosting this wonderful event. Um, we'll get to you, you in just like a moment. But Paul, how is the program going now? Because you guys have done... What, five, six villages at this point? Yes, we have did the entire uh, villages that had McDonald's within their proper. And uh, overall, the, the turnout and, and the participation within the constituents with the respective village has been really overwhelming. And uh, again, this is part of our Mandania uh, community-oriented policing strategy in which we go into the community. And by partnering up with McDonald's, it allowed us that opportunity to be a part of the community, engaging in a dialogue where while having coffee served to us and everything, it just serves as a beautiful atmosphere for both um, the constituents of the, the village and, of course, our GPD officers. So it's been, um, the success has been great. Well, Davina, what does it mean to your company to be a valued corporate citizen on Guam and just say, you know, like, we, we not only want to make your family happy, we want to do our part to help keep everybody safe? Oh, it's an honor, actually, to be asked to host uh, the first Coffee with a Cop and several others after that. But this um, next week, uh, October 4th, is a very special one. It's a national Coffee with a Cop uh, day. So we're going to uh, have a host of four different locations on just that one day mm -hmm. so that we'll be able to cover as much of the island or, you know, and be simultaneously as convenient. Or simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Wow. On October 4th. And the locations are Aganya, Harmon McDonald's, uh, Jigo McDonald's and Mighty. Okay, so the other cool. two just have for reasons that you know it's logistically it's just not as convenient for the restaurant. Tumaning is still having a renovation and remodeling and Tumon is you know in the tourist uh, visitor area so mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really not our con constituent for this event at least. Mm -hmm. Well Paul I know you can't disclose exactly the specific type of feedback that you're getting because mm -hmm. one of the benefits of coffee with the cop is like any conversation you have with a patrolman an officer one of the m members of cadre or administration mm -hmm. what have you stays completely safe and anonymous but what generally are topics are, are people bringing up about their communities a lot of it is just safety and security within the community this is the time in which the constituents can voice their concerns of what's happening within their respective village now um you know davina had mentioned that the four um locations and we're going to deploy our personnel um from, from our staff officers to our to our patrol officers to the various location and this like i said um you know the discussion the main discussion that comes up with the dialogue is safety and security within the village and you know we need that we need to hear what's going on in the community and you know the better setting of having a, a great conversation with a great cup of joe it really means a lot to you know the the person sitting across us because now they're expressing their concerns of what's happening and it's it's not falling on deaf ears because our chief has been really adamant about taking actions and bringing it forward well Davina I'm sure like a lot of your employees are saying you know hey boss can I uh, can I take like five minutes and can I go you know sure. participate because yeah. you know, I mean they're not only an employee they're also you know a constituent a resident right exactly. part of the community yes uh, yes we encourage them if they have a break from uh, serving our customer customers of course yes they're encouraged and we and they do they do get a chance to talk to our GPD officers. All right, and again, if, if you are watching this right now on whatever platform you're watching and you've never participated, absolutely free to the community. Mm -hmm. McDonald's mm -hmm. is generously enough to provide the coffee mm -hmm. and yeah, the venue. Free coffee for two hours from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is October 4th, and we'll stay uh, at the four locations. Yeah. And, and, and if I may, I would like to mm -hmm. thank um, you know, the staff and management of McDonald's and oh. on, you know, Mr. and Mr. Zuzu for their... Mm -hmm. their, their their full support of the program and you know it, it's it's been a great it's been a great series with the coffee with the cops and the partnership with mcdonald's it is a wonderful program so thank you both for doing this for our community you're welcome thank you for having us and we'll see you there yes and see you there can't wait to have some of that coffee it's delicious it first, one, first one's on me if i see you yeah there you go <laughs> paul to pal first one's on him and the coffee's free <laughs> generous guy all right stay tuned we're back after this 
$500 in your backpack during Nissan's Back to School Relief event. Purchase a new Nissan with payments starting as low as $76 per pay period and get $500 cash back. School supplies, uniforms, lunches, load it all up in a new Nissan, including the kids. With payments starting as low as $76 per pay period and with $500 cash back, you get an A+. For more back to school deals, go to NissanGuam.com or see your favorite sales associate at Nissan Upper Tumon. The Cheers Guam Series presents the largest wine event of the year, WineFest 2017. Enjoy an evening with over 150 wines from around the world on Friday, October 6th, as the Hyatt Regency Ballroom transforms into an international wine extravaganza. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. General admission tickets are $66 and are available at the Hyatt Deli and all 76 Circle K locations. Super premium tickets are $180 and are available at the Hyatt Deli. Purchase your tickets today. Must be 21 years or older to attend. Savor the wines of the world at WineFest 2017. It's Hyundai's kickoff to savings event going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Score big, save big with the all new redesigned Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. Gain those extra yards with up to 45 miles per gallon highway and an introductory savings of $4,500. Or check out Guam's best offensive line, like a new Accent starting at $11,995. Or the new Elantra starting at $16,995. How about the new Tucson starting at $19,995? Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's best warranty. It's Hyundai's kickoff to savings event at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Account at ITE and get double data on the network that gives you more. Hoffaday and welcome back. Before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shout outs from the Coldstone Creamery Birthday Club. Happy birthday, Michael Timingo and Richard Tenorio. May the Lord continue to bless you both with many more years to come. Hope your dreams come true. Love the family. Happy birthday, Teresita Solis. Happy 67th birthday to our queen. We love you, Mom, coming from the family. Happy birthday, Javen Sandoval. Happy 13th birthday, love the family. Happy birthday, Jaden by Manabusin from your entire family. And happy birthday, Ramona May Ujoa, love the family. Remember, you can be part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birth date. That's all the time we have from all of us here at Guam's News Network. Thanks for watching and have a safe weekend. Closed captioning is brought to you by ITE Life in Motion.